गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एंड इन टुडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू बी डूइंग शिल्प अवार्ड एंड दिस वीडियो इज इन द कंटिन्यूअस सीरीज ऑफ द कंपटीशन टूर लाइक इन द ग्रैंड फील्ड एंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू मीट वन ऑफ आवर फ्रेंड हु इज गोइंग टू शो अस रॉ सो कम विद मी सो दिस इज द ग्राउंड फ्लोर एंड वी डू हैव अ लिफ्ट ओवर हियर I think in Manchester there wasn't a lift. I can't remember. So there's a lift, and this is the long area, and the floor is in the sixth floor, I guess. So let's come in. So we have reached his accommodation. Actually, his floor was second, not sixth. So this is his room, and this is the lobby of the Silver Hall. And can you show that around? Okay. So let's. Uh, he's my friend from MIM. His name is Harsh. So let's meet him now. Harsh. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my room. So this is Silver Accommodation, and it's pretty spacious. According to the price and all, I I think for one person this accommodation is best. Like it is quite good. It is quite yeah. spacious. And the thing is, why I find it best is because we anyways don't end up spending a lot of time in our rooms. Mm. So this is enough space for a person to right. Uh, just rest and be in you know in their selves. Mm. So right. So they have got a beautiful view from here. So from here you can see the Lancaster Hall and the Baroness Hall on the right side. Okay. And does this window open? Yeah, that one not completely, but it does. Okay. Just open. Just enough for ventilation. Ventilation. Yeah. Okay. So what all things did you get from the university? Uh, so before uh, I came here, we are asked if we require a duvet or a pillow okay. or not. So yeah. when I entered my room, there was already a duvet, a pillow, mm -hmm. and some covers for with that. Okay. Uh, I also received some pins on this board. Mm -hmm. And certain uh, sheets that mention what all are, is, has come with my room. Okay. Uh, what all checks have been done in my room? If the heater is working, if there are marks in the wall, because oh. in case, because they take this into action, because if I create some marks or something, then that okay. is my responsibility. So we have given a complete checklist of mm -hmm. what is available in the kitchen for us as well for communal space. Okay. Which I'll be showing you guys later on. Okay. So this was available for uh, me. These are the basics that were given to mm -hmm. me and. Rest of it, I had to fill in. Okay, so I think there's a lot of storage space over here. Can yeah. you sh show them? So I have three drawers over here. This is the cupboard. Uh, it is manageable for oh sorry about that. It is manageable for one person. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have two shelves here, three drawers, and there is space under the bed as well that can be used, and some space over there behind as well. Where I've kept kept my boxes, as you can see. Okay, and you have got enough of the shelf space also. Yeah. I think you are a Marvel fan. I am kind of a fan of everything, <laughs> Marvel, anime, everything included. I like how you design your. Yeah, own. so this entire thing is like memories from each person that's important to me over here. Okay. Like this was painted by my friend, my flatmate. This is given to me by my friend. So nice, everything nice. represents something. Oh, that's nice. So that is our creator. So let's see your uh, washroom. Yeah. So about the washroom, it's quite small. People who are tall will might find it a bit difficult, but still manageable. Mm -hmm. To see the shower space is kind of small. Okay, it's too much congested. I it think. is, yeah, but you get used to it, and uh, yeah, it's fine. Manageable, I say. Yeah, I think Shilbo House people complain about uh, the bathroom space. Yeah, right? yeah, that is our main issue because mm -hmm. if you see other house bathrooms, they are. Even though they are narrow, they are a bit spacious. Like you have right. some movement over there. Mm -hmm. Over here, we just enter and we come out. There's no movement inside. We are a bit restricted in yeah. that sense. Yeah, but for a student and it's for a year, so yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, for a student and like I said, we are not always in the room. Right, right. So it's not the main thing. The main mm -hmm. thing is to find comfort over here, which I do. I really do. Okay. So yeah. So what is the rent you are paying here? So they calculated by per night, and it's okay. around twenty two pounds per night. And if you calculate it, comes around six forty pounds per month. Oh, that's nice. Around twenty one point something, mm -hmm. and it rounded off okay, to twenty two. Okay. 
so it's okay. calculated like that and we are asked to pay in every 3 months mm-hmm. so that is 1991 per quarter okay that's how it works okay. yeah and how many uh, flat mates do you have in a so uh, we have seven flats over here mm-hmm. mine included so six flat mates okay uh, everyone is from a different country so this makes it oh, a very diverse flat yeah okay. so uh, do you have a common kitchen as yeah, well yeah i do honestly yes yeah yeah let's go so now this is the kitchen with some amazing view i think the view takes the whole kitchen in right yeah you can see the majority of of the campus from this uh, okay. view so this is the main field of rugby yeah. the rugby field what's this called this is the football football field, field yeah. right so you can see the football field you can see the tennis court over there there's yeah. a cricket pitch kind of over here it can be seen uh there's a sports hall you can see lancaster on your right okay it's beautiful yeah So this is your kitchen with I think two fridges to start with, That's right? Right. Yes. Can we see the fridges? Yeah, sir. Sure. So this is there are seven flat mates. Everything is divided. You can see everyone is numbered. Mm-hmm. There are shelves. So this one's mine, just one because I don't cook that regularly. Okay. So everything has been divided. That's nice. So almost every flat mate has two shelves in the fridge okay. and one shelf in the freezer, as you can see it's marked here as well. Mm-hmm. So these were randomly divided. We okay. just knew we have to divide it like that. So we mm-hmm. had a team meet, not team meet, like a uh, flat <laughs> meet, and that's how we decided who okay. gets what. Other than that, we have more storage over here. Uh, so this is a communal storage mm-hmm. that can be used by anyone. Even in that, people have marked if they are using it uh, continuously. Okay. I use the one above most of the time. Okay. And so what yeah. were what was assigned to you initially like the so everyone has given one shelf and a drawer so mm-hmm. this is my shelf over here okay. as you can see it's numbered 439 this is numbered by the university and the accommodation not by us okay so it was only self assigned and then this drawer over here so this okay. is what's been given to me okay. and as i was mentioning about the communal spaces these are the communal spaces over here which are being used by my other flat mates okay So, so other than uh, this shelf and one drawer, other, yeah. all other things are communal. Uh, yeah, like everyone has this assigned to them, right. and one, two, and three over there is communal. Okay. And there are two other ones over here. As I'll just show you under under the sink, where we keep our utensils, which is common for everyone. Okay. So, so plates and all you get from the university. So every student gets a plate, uh, a bowl, a fork, knife, and spoon, mm-hmm. and one mug. This is okay. what given by them. Okay. Uh, other than that, we have knives for communal use. If I just I can show you that yeah. over here. So scissors, some spoons okay. are kept over here, and these are all communal use over here. Okay. Everything that's kept here, everything I'll say in black is for communal use. Right. Uh, including these things, we were also given a rice cooker, a toaster, a kettle. Mm-hmm. Uh, my flatmate brought a. Coffee machine for his side. There are other flatmates who have like blenders and other machines okay. that they have got over here after coming okay. to UK. There are other flatmates who have got utensils from back home that they used to cook. Okay. So that's how it's been spread out, and we are all given a list of things that can be used in mm-hmm. common, okay. so that there is no confusion between us and some set of instructions of how not to leave the hob okay. on or something. So, like you are sharing this kitchen with six other people, so yeah. total seven people. Yeah. So, right. do you find it difficult to to cook or it's overcrowded sometimes? Uh, not really, because everyone has their different timings on when they cook, mm-hmm. and somehow it is just synced with each other. We don't overlap. Okay. But whenever like two or three people are cooking together, my I have good uh, relations with my flatmates, so it's always mm-hmm. a fun time. Okay. We end up sharing food or having right. a small potluck between us, and we catch up with what's happening. Mm-hmm. With each other, so okay. yeah, it is fun. It's not an issue. Two hogs are more than enough for okay. six people, seven people. Okay. Yeah. So, so you have two have hogs and oven. Yeah, houses, right? two uh, like two ovens over there. Okay. Right. Yeah. And one microwave. Yes. Okay. So, uh, when does the lady come to clean this kitchen? Uh, so a housekeeper comes every Tuesday okay. uh, to clean. They clean if there are any dirty utensils. They clean that. They clean the okay. entire floor. 
they clean the hobnob as you can see someone must have spilled something over there so mm-hmm. every tuesday like you can see this one is completely clean right so it's uh, done every tuesday okay. the trash goes out every tuesday we have been given some extra trash bags over here okay. in case those fill up okay other than that we have been given a vacuum cleaner some mops some uh, brushes mm-hmm. also we have an iron bag we have a iron inside okay uh, and we also have this bag that goes to us so that we can go and get grocery right. more comfortably So I think this, this is the most provided. necessary thing I found because holding groceries is not a good yeah, idea. Yeah, like going to going to Tesco and getting all those everything bags. else things bags that yeah. you're more comfortable okay. getting in this, right. and you are more comfortable like traveling as well. Yeah, right. And what about the heating situation in Chilwa? So the heating situation is that we, as you can see, we have a heater over here mm-hmm. in the kitchen as well, which can be controlled by us, the flatmates. Whoever comes in, they can just switch okay. it on. We can regulate the temperature however we want. Okay. And uh, in our rooms, it's individual heating. Okay. It's not uh, universal. It's not controlled by the accommodation. Okay. I think we are the only accommodation where the student gets to control the heating. Not even Baroness. Uh, not even Baroness. I think oh. Baroness uh, heaters only on for two hours. Okay. Whereas Shilgar is on for six hours, so I don't have to like wake up in the middle of the night and then right. I can start my heating. Okay. So it's comfortable. And as you see, as you can see, with the size of the room, the heating is perfect. Right. It's not too hot mm-hmm. or too cold. It's pretty much pretty, manageable. Yeah. yeah. If the control is in your hand, yeah. I think that's pretty much comfortable. Because yeah. in my house also, I feel sometimes hot. Yeah. Because I have to turn off the heating and then you Makes know sense. Yeah. that's the thing. So what about the pros and cons? What do you say that why should people prefer? Uh, I'll start with the cons. One con is that we don't have our own laundry, so we have mm-hmm. to go to Lancaster or Baroness. It's close by, but it's a hassle like to go mm-hmm. on there because when you go, your laundry basket in itself is a bit heavy. Okay. Uh, other than that, uh, there are no real cons over here. The the pros are that it's very quiet. The entire accommodation is very quiet. Mm-hmm. You have some work if you want to work from home. Yeah. You have your keys the entire time. Yeah. And what I've noticed, it's a very diverse block. Right. Like Shilwa has only two blocks, mm-hmm. which is the least out of all the accommodations. I think everyone okay. has about five. Okay. So there are just two blocks, and it's very diverse. Like in case of uh, me and my flat, mm-hmm. uh, everyone is from different country. All seven flatmates are from different country. Okay. So I get to learn about learn a lot about right. them, how they live, mm-hmm. how they use even basic things like how they use their vegetables as well. So right. different from what I have experienced. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think we are the only accommodation that has not had a fire alarm incident till now, because fire go, fire alarms going off in the middle of the night is a very right. common occurrence in a student accommodation, mm-hmm. and it does not happen in Chilwa right. because right. everyone is just in their own world or mm-hmm. they are outside somewhere. Right. So that those are the pros, and, and it's a very comfortable living space. Yeah, even the heating situation is very yeah, nice the, for you. Yeah, 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 being able to control the heating is. Yeah. Uh, Is like gold because uh, other accommodations have either only for two hours, mm-hmm. or the accommodation controls it for them. Okay. So in that case, that it is much better. Right. Yeah. So out of all the accommodation, I found Shilwa to be one of the very cheaper option to get an ensuite and really good accommodation, and you get the access of heating, which is the main point. So yeah, thank you so much, Harsh, thank you for, for showing your accommodation, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, bye bye. Thank you.